So you still want to hear my two cents worth on expectations as a lawn and landscape maintenance owner operator? I got one right here. with my little two cents and this one is this one is golden because it didn't take me long to really get this one and figure this one out but at the same token my own um, love for doing this did and what I mean by that is when you do eventually get employees or an employee or somebody out there with you it's going to be hard to kind of let go of some things you like to do out there but you almost have to kind of train that employee up on everything uh, what I mean by that is like for me I like to start every employee off at a trimmer I see that there's some progress there cool okay we're gonna move you on to a mower uh, you know start off with a small mower and then work your way up to the big mower you know put you in open fields show you how to run it how to operate it how to do everything to it maintenance Know, take care of it now here is what is going to be hard for some owner operators and I'm more so specifically talking to the owner operator not just an owner the ones who are out there running the equipment a lot of us love to run equipment I'm one of them but you need to see what your employees strength is in they're a little bit better at the mowing and you're better at trimming which nine out of ten times if you're an owner operator you've learned and invested the time to be to do everything well to do everything well so wherever you see that you're going to be quicker more productive at or you know have a bigger strength than that person at a certain site that's the job you should be doing like even if you get two employees, you technically should be that third guy. Oh, there's more mowing, you should be hopping on that mower. There's more trimming, you should be grabbing that trimmer. You know, you got a blade edge that, you should grab that blade edge or a blade edge. Um, I know for me, it's, it's it's not so difficult because my guy, uh, he I've trained him for so long that he knows how to do pretty much everything I do. So for us, it's just more about pacing ourselves like we do. 20 to 30 sometimes more stops on a Monday but I'm trimming more stops on Mondays and that's just how it is Tuesday we do commercial we're pretty split down the middle as far as how much one does the trimming and it's kind of the same for Thursdays uh, those are our three main mo days uh, and it's pretty split down the middle as to how we uh, do that part now there are some properties where you're going to look at where, you know, like for example, when we do steep hills, I do all the steep slopes. Like if I'm going to be on a, like we were, we actually were the company in the area that specialized on steep slopes. Like when we had our 60 inch walk behind, which I got to give me another one of those, and we could do any hill with that. People will call us just to cut their steep hills and they'll cut everything else. So basically... The way I'm thinking is what I'm going to end up doing or what I do end up doing is when we get a steep slope that actually had to put a mower on it, especially a stand on, I'm the guy that does it. You know, that's just the way it is. Uh, I prefer to be the guy to do it. Uh, it is pretty dangerous already. So that's where I uh, take lead a lot of times. Um, I know when we get to the commercial with the shopping center i've already had a video on this 
it's a lot of trimming, a lot of hours to trim. But nine out of ten times, I decide to do the trimming. And if there's any bit of, if there's mowing that needs to be done, a lot of times I have my guy go ahead and do that mowing. Because uh, for one, you don't want to burn out uh, the person that's out there with you all day. And for two, if I do have to go out there and take care of business on my own one day, you know, for whatever reason, you know, my guy can't make it or something. You know, I'm already pretty much trained up in audition. I guess audition the wrong word, but I'm trained up. You know, my body is trained up to do all that because it's nothing to move to a mower after you've been trimming all the, you know, islands and everything, which is the harder job out there. But it's difficult to, to basically get off of that mower and have somebody else do the mowing when that is something that you like to do. Yeah, I would love to be the owner that just pulls up, hops on the mower and keeps it moving. You know but it's just not that way uh, it's got to be uh, even work uh, between you and your employees and uh, that is that is honestly the best way and the only way that you will succeed it didn't take me long to figure that out hey there's certain strengths that I have that I'm not seeing in my guys so let me go ahead and make sure you know that I go ahead on and uh, take care of a certain service. I'm trying to look for this house right quick. There it is. So yeah, uh, it doesn't take long to figure out that there are certain things that you should uh, be doing, that you should figure out what you do best. And it's like, it's even tougher as you grow because you really get to the point where am I better being in the field, you know, taking care of this, that, and the third, or am I better being behind the scenes? See, a guy like me who doesn't like being behind the scenes, you don't even want to think about that second option, but a lot of times, to be real with you, um, I do sales really well. Both my wife and I, when it comes to sales, man, we're, we're a heck of a team. Uh, we can close just about anything, so... It actually kind of makes more sense that I do step back and do sales and like also I do um, all the applications here I am the applicator so maybe it makes more sense for me to do customer service applicating you know maybe our bigger wide area mowings tractor services stuff of that nature maybe making deliveries uh, to sites for mulch so these are things I have thought about and kind of having my guy take over the full-time mower route but that's my two cents worth on Finding, uh, finding what's the strength that you should have at each job site. It should be like an on and off, on and off switch when it comes uh, to doing that. I guess one more point would be if you're weak in an area, like say you're not very good at, man, I don't know. Say you're not very good at using a string trimmer. Hire a guy that is. It's hard to be in this field though as an owner operator and not teach yourself how to be good at everything like you can you almost have to because at the end of the day a lot of times you are the one person you can rely on to always uh make stuff happen you are the owner you are the operator you guys get it done <laughs>